So the tower is the hub space of Destiny's world where many NPCs have gathered and where you can view the traveler as it's... Wait, no, that's the wrong tower. What is the tower in Halo Infinite? So, if you take a look at the Halo Infinite official campaign gameplay premiere video on YouTube, that is a, a lot of words right there, at the very specific speed of 0.25 or 25% of the actual speed, and at around the three minute mark, you will see something special. It's at this speed and time that for a brief second, the locations on the map are populated with names and then they vanish extremely quick. These include locations like Golf and Echo Base, which we can assume are Marine UNSC bases on Zeta Halo. We see Okro Vagadun, I believe I probably butchered that, which has a crosshair icon, perhaps meaning there's a high value target we can take out. The Green Spire location with what looks like it could be one of the large forerunner buildings that emit beams of light of wonder into the sky. We see something called the Conservatory with an icon that, honestly, I'm not quite sure of you know what it is. And right above that, we see an icon with a lock, but no name is able to be seen. But that same lock icon is shown in another spot on the TAC map, the tower. In a previous video, I discussed what I think could be the Palace of Pain in the background of the gameplay trailer. It's a huge monolithic structure that once housed cruel experiments on the ancient humans by the Forerunners and their quest for a cure of the parasitic flood. In fact, there may still be a few specimens still locked away in the palace. These facilities were controlled by the artificial intelligence medicant bias under the supervision of the Primordial later on. Mendicant Bias was eventually persuaded by the Primordial and was quote-unquote infected by the Logic Plague, which brought on a state of rampancy in the AI, similar to Cortana. Bias then defected to the Flood, and the Primordial began to redirect activities on Installation 07 and began to broadcast signals that caused the human population on the ring to travel to the Flood research facilities on the installation. Now I know what you're going to say, Hollow Tide, the name of the location is the tower, it can't be the Palace of Pain, and thank you Nancy Drew. I have also observed this, and while it could just be that they are using a placeholder name to not give away the surprise of the palace in the game, I think your reasoning is also justified. We do know for a fact the palace is indeed located on Installation 07, aka Zeta Halo, and it has been confirmed that that is the ring that Infinite is set on. If we dig a little deeper, we find that there is not a singular location for the palace, but it was a combination of multiple flood research facilities across the ring. Could the vaguely named tower be one of these facilities? Absolutely. Could it be something else again? Absolutely. A quick dive into the lore does not reveal anything specifically named the tower on Zeta Halo, but again, even if we look up something like the conservatory, a location I mentioned earlier in the video, we do not find any immediate results that give us any clues to its purpose on the ring either. There are a few structures mentioned in the lore, including power stations. In fact, the ring was home to a number of these power stations, many of which were eventually sabotaged during the crisis at the capital. They're described as being a dark gray conical structure, 300 to 400 meters tall, but conical means cone-shaped, so that's probably not our tower. There are other structures across the ring, such as transit stations and, I guess, human settlements, but none of those fit what we actually see in the trailer. If you have any ideas what the structure could be, or if you think it is one of the infamous palaces of pain, let me know down in the comments. I am excited to see what the world of Halo Infinite holds, and all the secrets and mysteries we can discover and solve on our time on the ring. And that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, as it helps the channel immensely. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.